How can it be possible? With men, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. I walk with the God. Who command the things that be not? As if they are. I trust this God. I believe this God. I declare. I move into his dimension. When my mind is tired, I go into the spirit and I start praying. The spirit. I am not that God. 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 I am Give the Lord a clap. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Jesus name. Put your hands together. Can we be seated? You are welcome to church. And we are grateful to God for your life. We thank God is our month of faith. And faith is what we are, we'll be talking about. So today I'm talking about faith is a dimension. Faith is a dimension. If you want to walk with God, you can walk with him only mentally. Because you need your mind. You need your emotions. But one major thing that you need it's called faith. That is why I want to bring your mind to the dimension called faith. And when a matter is repeated more than once, twice, thrice, then immediately it tells you how important it is. So I gave the notes to uh, Roberta, the one who does it for different people, Kevin, other people. So I gave it to her. And I didn't tell her what photos to add. But she added an excellent photo where somebody is walking on a cable. And if you have seen a photo like that or a video like that, it can be very scary. So, you have to be balancing yourself. So, this is a different dimension. So, you have to balance the wind. You have to balance your body. You have to be mentally balanced. Emotionally balanced. So, you are coordinating and synchronizing so many things. So she gave us a nice photo. It actually depicts faith as a dimension. So in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, it said, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. But the just shall live by his faith. So turn to your neighbor and say, The just shall live by his faith. Turn to your neighbor again and say, the just shall live by his faith. How many believe they are just here? 
Are you lifting your hand or you are bringing your hand? So ask your neighbor, ask your neighbor, are you just? Then you have to live by faith. Tell your neighbor, we can live by economics. We can live by our education. But the Bible says, the just shall live by his faith. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. So tell your neighbor, if you are just, or tell your neighbor, if you are a human being, you live by breathing air. If you don't breathe air, what will happen to you? So if you are just, you live by faith. So if you don't live by faith, you will die. So the just must live by faith. Faith is more than a doctrine. It's more than a confession. But the church shall live by his faith. So I don't live, if you are just, you don't depend on somebody's faith. I'm not going to live by the faith of my wife. But my own faith. So if you are not, your faith is not working, then it's going to be a question mark. And it's repeated in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. So turn to your neighbor and tell him seven times, the just shall live by faith. Repeat it to somebody. Wait, 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 wait. You are too much in a hurry. You are too much in a hurry. So wait. Turn to your neighbor and say, The just shall live by faith. Turn to another person and say, The just shall live by faith. And tell your neighbor, You are not talking with faith. Tell your neighbor, Until Bishop shouts at you, then you are talking. So don't let Bishop talk. So turn to your neighbor and say, the just shall live by faith. Turn to another friend and tell him, the just shall live by faith. Everybody rise up to your feet. Turn to somebody else and say, the just shall live by faith. Now finally, lift up your right hand and say, I walk by faith. Turn to somebody else and say, walk by faith. Lift your own hand and say, I walk by faith. Okay, be seated. So now the just shall live by faith. When? Now. Tomorrow. Now. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. And for the just to live by faith, because we repeated it three times, and then it goes on to say in Hebrews 10, uh, what Hebrews 11 verse 6 he say this is what he says he said for without faith it's impossible to please God so he says but without faith it is impossible to please God for he that cometh to him must believe that he is and that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him faith is so vital that God says if you don't have faith, you can't walk with him. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must know that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So you must diligently seek him. So you want to walk with God? <laughs> then you need faith. You want to be a fish? You must 
must be in water. Because if you are a fish, you must live by water. So if you are taking out of fish, you will die. So in the same way, if you want to be a human being, you must breathe. And so the day you stop breathing, you will die. The same way, if you want to walk with God, how many want to walk with God? Are you sure you want to walk with God? And to walk with God, it takes faith. So if you don't have faith, then God will be talking. But you will not be receiving. Because you'll be on a different wavelength. So faith is a dimension that you need to add up in working with God. We live in different kinds of wells. So I call it cosmological order of the world. So that is a cosmology. No, that's how people think of the world. And it's the fact that every world is made up of kingdoms. So there are many kingdoms. Every kingdom is divided into realms. And every realm is made up of dimensions. And every dimension is composed of levels. And every level is assessed by doors. And every door is opened by keys. So in God's realm, you need what we call dimensions to work with God. So when you are working with God. One of the major dimensions you need is faith. And uh, so I want to define dimension, then I will define faith. So what is a dimension? A dimension is a way of thinking. A way of thinking. It deals with the mindset. It deals with your perspective. It deals with your understanding of a particular world in which you are operating in. Because he that comes to God must know that he is. That he is a rewarder. And Jesus said it. He said with man it is impossible. But in God all things are possible. So God's dimension is so huge that you have to think in dimensions. Unfortunately, we live in a world that you, are, you have to live by your thinking, your emotions, in fact, your five senses. That is how you live by. So there is a dimension in God that when you want to work with him, then you have to come up. So it means if you want to work with God, you have to go to his dimension. And so what is a dimension? It's a way of thinking and it deals with your mindset. It deals with your perspective and your understanding of a particular well. So if you are working with God, you must go to his well and you must think like he thinks. And you need to look at things the way it looks at things. Why? Because this gives us greater accessibility. It gives us productivity. And influence in that world. If you want to work with God, 
He calls the things that be no, not as though they are. In another dimension, you are telling lies. But in God's dimension, you are speaking God's language. So God's language is different from our language. The Bible says, God is not a man that he will lie as he said it and will he not do it he watches over his word to perform so for you to walk with God it means you must move to his dimension in human dimension I feel the pain I feel the sickness that is the human dimension but in God's dimension you have to talk differently because he calls the things that be not as though they are so to work with God it means you must study him you must copy him and say things the way he says it because in God's dimension God said and he saw let the weak say say I am strong in human dimension it's a lie but in God's dimension it's another dimension may you learn to know which dimension you are operating from in the name of Jesus you must be conscious that when you are working with men you speak man language but when you are working with God you are speaking God language somebody listening to you knowing you don't have money because you are a poor man and you are speaking and say I am the richest man in the world he will say you are a liar it depends on where you are talking from are you speaking from man's dimension or you are speaking from God's dimension may you understand the dimension of faith in the name of Jesus I want to hear you somebody say amen tap your neighbor and say once you come to church you have to know which gear to move per time yeah you have to know where you stand so when you are working with God he says that with men it is impossible but with God everything is possible with men you speak to the situation as you see it but Jesus says if you are fed like a mustard seed you would say unto this mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea that doesn't make sense because I don't have the money I don't have what it takes but because I'm speaking from God's dimension so I'm speaking God's language may the Lord help us in the name of Jesus so what is a dimension a dimension is a way of thinking a way of thinking and so you need to know how to think differently it's just like a leader. You need to know what cap you are putting on, what hat you are putting on. We have a woman. A woman is a mother. It's a wife. Last week, I almost told my wife that. That she said, but there's day. And so, I should be able to honor her as a mother. I said, you are not my mother. You are, you are your children's mother to me you are my wife the same woman but different dimensions 
If you understand, put your hands together. Oh, put your hands together. To a poor person, you are wasting money. But to a rich man, it's proving how rich he is. So it depends on your dimension. So stop criticizing people. Find what dimension they are speaking from. And based on where they are talking from. Then you can draw your conclusion. May you begin to take control of your dimension. I thought somebody would say amen. Talk to me. Somebody say amen. Amen. There's a rich man. His name is Rockefeller. He died. He's gone. And then he was working with his driver. He said he was looking for a watch repairer. And then he said it's a precious watch to His driver directed him to a man. And then he repaired the watch for him. He asked him, how much will you charge? He said $5. So he took out his check and wrote thousand dollars and then gave it to the guy after the guy has repaired the watch he said ah rocky rocky, rocky fella what you didn't hear what he said he said five dollars five dollars how come you are giving him thousand dollars he said, no. I will collect the money. He said, no. He said, for a driver, five dollars is too much. And then thousand dollars is crazy. You are speaking from your dimension. But for me, Rockefeller, who is one of the richest men of the world, thousand dollars is change money it depends on where you stand to you somebody is wasting money because of where you stand but from where the person is standing he is the richest man as I'm preaching I see differently you see differently because of where you are sitting so what I'm saying people are not smiling. You are saying they are smiling. I'm speaking from where I stand. So where are you standing? Change where you stand. And you will see different. Somebody shout a big amen. I can hardly hear you say a big amen. Oh no, I can't hear you say it again. Amen. So a dimension is a way of thinking. Do you know we have people that are called dimensionalists? There are people who don't work for money. No. They don't work for money. You work for money. So you think differently. But there are people they don't work for money. For some people, money making is a game. So they can make an investment. And you you have headache. Because to him making money, he has so many investments that is bringing him interest. So if he's buying something, if he buys a, a, a car, he buys an airplane, you are complaining. But his interest alone, at one corner, can buy you, can buy your house, can buy your generations. 
You don't like it, but as you are seated here, tomorrow you are going to work for somebody. If you have money than him, you won't go. But all your time belongs to him. Sorry. You have been bought. May you change your dimension. A dimension is a way of thinking. It depends on where you stand. A dimension. I pray that you become a dimensionalist. So faith is also a dimension. So when we talk about dimensions, we are talking about size. Size. Which dimension are you talking from? So as you are talking, where are you talking from? Hey, Ghana! Hey, Ghana is difficult. Where are you talking from? Because you are talking. Because Kwame Bediaku is talking. And you are saying he's wasting money. And to Kwame Bediaku. So tell your neighbor, as you are talking, you are revealing your dimension. I can only hear you. Tell your neighbor, as you are talking, you are revealing your dimension. So sometimes it's wise to keep quiet. Because the Bible says when a fool even keeps quiet, people think it's wise. Because sometimes some people are talking, you know they are foolish. So a dimension is a way of thinking. When we talk about dimensions, we are talking about size. Thinking in dimensions means to think outside the box, literally. So they call it dimensionalists. And one of the things I've come to realize that many believers we are doubters. Once you want people to think outside the box. They will tag you. They will call you all kinds of names. Because unfortunately we have been indoctrinated. So when you want us to think outside the box. So that's how I think. And particularly, when you want people to think spiritual, immediately they start rebelling. But it's another dimension God gave to us. Because for many of you now, if I say stand up, and I start talking to spirits. Immediately, you will close up. Because I'm talking to spirits. And talking to spirits does not make me crazy. Because Jesus spoke to spirits. So if I start speaking to spirits, some of you would say, Bishop, what are you doing? I'm, I'm at a dimension, you are not there. 
Thinking in dimensions means to think outside the box, literally. We know for a child to be born is sex between a man and a woman. That's what we think. But for God, Luke chapter 1, I think verse 39. Give it to me. I'm sure I'll be quoting the scripture. So when a man was told, your wife will be pregnant. He said, how can these things be? And then the angel of the Lord said, I stand before God and we think differently because with men it's impossible because that is where you think. But with God. How many things are possible? I want to hear you. How many things are possible? Say, say, how many things are possible? So God said, You are speaking from a human dimension. So you won't speak again. Because in the dimension I'm coming from, we call the things that be not as though they are. As you say, you will see it. Not see it before you say it. So if I leave you, you will make, mess up things from that realm. So you won't be able to speak again. Tap your neighbor and say, start thinking in dimensions. Say it again, say it again. So thinking in dimensions means to think outside the box, literally. So if this is doctrine, once you go outside the box, immediately somebody starts fighting. I have some statements. If I make, I'll be criticized more, so I'll leave you because you, don't, you can't defend me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With me. To me, sir. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Thinking in dimensions means you are thinking outside the box. Literally. So I think uh, they helped me out. Think outside the box. It means your perspective. It means you are smart. You are brainstorming. Or brain forming. Your imagination. Your logic. I have a lawyer in front here. Now, do you think, do you know that lawyers, their conclusion is different? So, when we be thinking this way, but a logician, Aha. and like a lawyer, it's a different conclusion. For you, this marriage divorce. But the, the, the logician or the lawyer begins to argue differently. This woman was caught in adultery. So according to what Moses has said, she should be stoned. So the great logician started writing on the ground. And I'm sure he was integrating the differentiation between their sins. 
And he said, He who is without sin, throw the first stone. The conclusion was obvious. But when Jesus went to another dimension, their mind could not conceptualize it. May you think outside the box. Oh, I can't hear you. May you think outside the box. So to walk with God is to change your dimension. One of the things I want Victory Bible Church to have is a museum. Museum or so that when you come, we'll walk with you and show you where we were. And how we were not in a condition. So you 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 would know how we transform our mind. So if I tell you now that we are going to have a hundred million cities. So you know we are not counting your money in your pocket. All of us, all the money we have in our pocket is not enough to sponsor God's work. It's bigger than us. Give the Lord a clap of it. Can we sing the Sunday school children's song? Who knows how to sing it? Eh? God's love is so wonderful. Who can sing for us? He's so wonderful, God's love. He's so wonderful, oh, wonderful love. He's so wide. He's so wide. Than the He's so low. You can't get under it so high. You can't get out it. Oh, wonderful. But did you understand the song? Help me. God's love is what? So wide. You can walk around it. So low. So low. You can't get under it. Ask your neighbor, can you describe God? Oh, I can't hear you. Can you describe God? Somebody who has no limits. And you and I that have limits. And he says without faith. You can't work with him. So if you want to work with him. You have to take out your brain. Put it into former dehyde. And wash it. Open your mind. And put it inside. And because when God is speaking, He said, Let he, uh, the barren rejoice. Because the barren shall bring forth. And you are talking gynecology. So it's impossible. With God. How many things? I want to hear you with God. How many things? Say it again. With God, how many things? All things. I can't hear you. With God, how many things? All things. Is it your age? Is it your money? Is it your thinking? With God. I want to hear you. With God. How many things? Okay, start counting. Count yourself. With God. My marriage, my money, my destiny, my future. How many things? What is the meaning of all? I can't hear you. What is the meaning of all? And all means what? Ah, what is the meaning of all? And how many things means all? And is it with Takia boy? Is it with Ghana economy? Is it with Victory Bible Church? But with who? I want to hear you with who? With who? How many things are possible? 
Oh, say it and stand up and believe it. And say, with Takia boy, it's impossible. With even Satan, it's impossible. But with God, oh, I can only hear you with God. How many things are possible? Tap your neighbor and say, all means all. Oh, tell your neighbor, it's not the money in your pocket. Turn to somebody else and say, it's not your country. It's not your tribe. It's not where you are coming from. But with you, oh, I can hear you with you. Oh, say it and say it well. Because in the spirit world, what you say is what you will see. So turn to your neighbor and say, with God. Say it again, not your feeling. Not your pocket. But with what? How many things? What is the meaning of all? And what is the meaning of all? And all means what? All means what? I can hardly hear you. All means what? And with God. How many things? How many things? How many things? Give him a shout and give him a clap. Take your seat. So thinking in dimension is to think outside the box, which includes idea, difference, creativity, unconventional, unusual. Amen. Amen. So when we talk about dimensions, the apostle Paul gives us a typical example. Romans 8, 38 to 39. For I am persuaded. I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height. So it's gone to dimensions, nor height nor depths nor any other creature so nor height nor depths nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus God created us with other dimensions which is spiritual so some of us, apart from our five senses, and if as we are sitting in church, you are, you are only in the five dimensions. But one of the things we do in church is to take you to another dimension. And that is where you hear me talk about spirit. And some of you, when I talk about spirit, you're uncomfortable. When you have told me your problem, and say so you have gone to hospital, you have done this, and then I start suggesting that let's look at the other dimension. Yes. 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 but what should I be I'm not a doctor I'm not a lawyer so when you tell me what you are going through I will go to the dimension I'm more comfortable with and so that is where I will take you but when I take you there you say I'm too spiritual and you say I'm my spirit is can you imagine a pastor who is saying that where other people are too spiritual but meanwhile before you started preaching you prayed for Holy Spirit to come and Holy Spirit who is he? is he not spirit? so are you not also calling spirit? so if I talk then some people will say Takia boy is calling spirit I thank God I'm calling Holy Spirit that I'm not calling evil spirit and somebody says every day you are talking spirit, spirit. am I a lawyer? That I should talk legality. I will talk spirit. Yeah. 
I talk spirit. If you tell me that somebody is sick, as I'm going, I'm not going with injection. No, I'm going spirit. So I'm going to find out spirit. Because spirits do make people sick. As you sit in front of me, why should I tell you law? Or I should tell you architecture. No. I talk spirit. Why? Because I'm going to God's dimension. So now let's try to define faith. Faith is the substance by which we move into the dimension of the unseen realm or the spirit realm. So it takes faith. If somebody failed the exam, there are dimensions that has marked him already. That they have told you you failed. But I also want to find out that why did you fail? So I'll go to that dimension. So to go to that dimension, I will pray. We will look at the word of God. And I pray you will get into the spirit. And then when you go into that realm, then from that realm, I will know why you failed. But somebody is saying, as for Bishop, is always calling spirit. We all call spirits. Yeah, Moses put down rod. The magicians also put down rod. So everybody is putting down rod. But at the end of the day, one rod will swallow another rod. So you call your spirit. I also call my spirit. Which I will say is the Holy Spirit. And we will see which one. I've never seen skeptics like this at this season of my life. When you take them to that dimension, then they talk unadvisedly. And then they will conclude. That's what I a boy. Or you came to church for me to teach you mathematics. There are people who do that. They are, they are, they are. No, you are praying with somebody. Only a spirit manifests. No, the spirit that is manifesting is somebody who is dead. The Bible says we should not practice necromancy. And I didn't cause spirits that are dead. I didn't call them. But I went to the jar. And they manifested. So what should I do with them? I have my members. They are in pain. For you. Some of them they should have married by now. And they are not married. What do I do? I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a doctor. He called me. So I go back to him. As the judge of all. And since his spirit. Spirits must manifest. And when they manifest. I put them where they belong. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You didn't come to church. To listen to English. Ratatouille, ha, ha, ha.
I'm here to find spirits. As I find a spirit, then you are embarrassed. You are embarrassed. I thought you would be happy. We go to an Akazu. Then at an Akazu. We went for conference. And one of my daughters has asked The car got messed up. It was worrying me. After one year. Then the Holy Spirit started teaching me about the judge. So before everybody, I called her, held her hand. We prayed. And so we are going to the judge to find out the reason for the accident. Police have done their investigation. I'm coming also from another dimension to find out why the accident. And when the spirit manifests, some people will say, What is this? If I was speaking Gamma, I mean, This woman, when I met her, for me, I know her ordinarily. So I said, We have come to judge. And as soon as I said, Holy Spirit, take her into trial. Then she turned her face. He said, Don't look at my face. I said, Who are you? And it was her own sister. I said, I appeared to her the Sunday. We collected sun. We prayed over the sun. We stood on the sun. And then, so the spirit that manifested said, I'm the sister. I appeared to her Saturday when she was standing on the sun. And we're praying Monday. How did I know? Said, I'm the sister. He kept saying, don't look at my face. Another dimension. Now somebody's coming to ask me. Do some takia boy. And what have you done? I don't worship the Bible. I'm not in bibliolatry. I worship the God that wrote the Bible. The God that wrote the Bible is bigger than the Bible. So things I don't see in the Bible. But I see it in God. Which one is the biggest? I'm not a biblicist. Which means when it is not written in the word of God, then it is not true. Read Paul. He said, I had things that was not lawful for a man to speak. Paul meeting Somebody will go to TikTok and say, Bishop Takeaway says he doesn't worship the Bible. Yeah, I don't worship it. John 5 38. He said, You search the scriptures. And the scriptures testify of me. But you will not come to me. So they know the scripture. But they don't know the author of the scripture. 
You think it's a joke? Sit down with people. Spend hours. Trying to find out. What annoys me? Yes, But I know it's still the spirit, so. I'm praying with somebody who is saying darkness, darkness. And the spirit that has manifested, the person is always down. When we are finished praying, he says, I'm confused. Whether a new creation can be aroused. So if you are talking demons, what are you talking about? I almost got up. I said, who, who is suffering? And I'm saying, one me no some people you spend time with them you want to find out what is wrong and the spirits manifest and you give him the video and you ask him have you watched the video oh, so I'm afraid and I don't want to watch should I tell you my honest this thing I feel like I'm slapping you Minyanka. I have spent my time. I have sat down with you. My heart is bleeding. I want to find out why you are not married. And the spirit is talking. And then somebody will ask. And when you do that, what is the difference between hypnotism and going to trance? Growing by a There are dimensions in God where you and I don't have a clue. When you are singing like you are just rotting words. People come and then, oh, what time am I going? So for time, Ben, I have a call. Give me John 3 8. You are a Timmy and Sam. John 3 8. Give it to me. You are a Sam, but Timmy and Sam. Some people think that anybody in the say, I have enough time to spare. Can we all read it together? Go. Everyone say the wind. The wind. Blow where it listed. Say it. Blow it where it listed. Turn to your neighbor and say, when you say the wind, we are talking about ruach. That, that's what you like, eh? The Hebrew. <laughs> Hebrew rapper. You that said your canon, ruach. And thou hearest the sound. Now what say a nino? But can't tell what, not tell when they come in. Now so won't be a free but so you can't see spirit. You feel it. You sense it. And I can't logically explain to you. Not ye why didn't I see you mean to me? There are revelations I don't have. Articulate words. So now you are asking me. So, so we are this, that, that. Pastor, why are you doing court of heaven? That is the judge. And I'm going to court to find out. And you that I'm finding out about you. You are second guessing me. What's my cry here? I've been all doing sir. My yaka bechire and my fufa baby. And my chire was Moses. I didn't need there to walk. Pharaoh also didn't need there to walk. And to judge me and no. Not doing so be on court, baby. Ah. Jimmy and 
There is sometimes you have to say it hard. I told them I was all kind of ending. You are smiling, but you have criticized me. Oh. Bishop, there is always doing court of heaven. Oh, you what you Church member die, and our church member no cock a chirem. And to be sad spirit, they say, why no no? Or say me me ye ni pia. Obe obe tane ni. Obe tane. You saw a free ye. You see, he let them ask him. All of a sudden, so I, I called him. He came, we sat down. When I started praying for him, he said, Who say we are Kanye? Who say we are Kanye? Who say we are Dia? Dia? They started. Yebeche, what about Frakiti Kiti? Dabena Obaye. Dabena Obaye, Juma Mumma. Says, Yeah, who say we are Dia? Who say we are Kanye? Yebeche. Who in the market again? You're only thinking one dimension. And yet, the Holy Spirit wants to show you. Jesus said, There are things I want to teach you. But you will not be able to receive it. But when the Holy Ghost comes, it will show you. If you are here, you don't speak in tongues. There's a problem with you. Oh, how? Oh, how? That's for that tongues when they are speaking. Yeah, maybe, baby. That looks like something unto me. <laughs> so let's go to our dimension now. Look, look, okay. we have an enemy. Sometimes they are from your own home. What have I done, anybody? So let's define faith. Faith. Can we all read it together? You know where I am. Go. Faith is a substance. Oh, my friend. Can we go? Faith is a substance by which we move into the dimension. Wait, wait, wait. We move into where? The dimension. Of the where? The unseen realm. And into where? Spirit realm. So when you tell me you can't sleep, when I lay hands on you, or when I'm praying with you, I'll just go straight. Who is that? Who are you? That is making my daughter or my son not to sleep. To you, I'm crazy. But in the dimensions of God and in the dimensions of the spirit, I am correct. Because Jesus spoke to the wind. So what would we call him? You, you, you are telling me your stomach. I recommend you to doctor. After doctor has looked at you. He said we didn't find anything. What else should we find? Because 
But I find people skeptical. So very skeptical. Skeptical. You see, when I speak ordinarily, it doesn't hit you. Unless I add certain dimensions of language. Because we have gradually been desupernaturalized. And we will still watch Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Who wants to bring witchcraft into main line? So we will not accept it. And meanwhile, some of us pastors, yeah, Christians, want to be supernatural. So when Paul says that, oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? And Now you are coming to explain. To me, after doing this work for almost forty-five years, my you may be feared dimension. Second Corinthians chapter twelve. Corinthians to form some of, if I start now, you become unbeliever. You run away. If I start calling the spirit, it is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I'll come to visions and what? Revelations, Revelations of the Lord. Let's go. I knew a, a man in Christ about 14 years ago. Whether in the body, I cannot tell. Whether out of the body. So it means you can pray it outside the body. I cannot tell. God know it. Such a one caught up to the third heaven. Let's go. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body. I cannot well tell. God know it. The next verse. How that he was caught up into what paradise. paradise and heard what unspeakable words, words, which is, is not lawful for a man. So it means there are dimensions in our walk with God that when you are explaining to somebody, he will say you are mad, like Paul. When we were speaking in the book of Acts, they said, Paul, much learning makes you mad. And Christianity mm. without the madness. Because the Bible tells us that every word that it says that the righteous man is mad. Mm. The prophet is mad. Mm. How do you call somebody? You don't know him. Mm. And then you are describing me mm. and I'm here and I'm here. And I see this and that. And then you too, with your puny mindset, you are saying, How did he know? Mm. No, sometimes it's annoying, but you just control yourself. I mean, while the person is sitting in front of you, pay what to him, or bring one with him, send him pay bread. And if you are not careful, so when you now also you'll be reduced to the natural dimension. See, or be you one more bad than you, who no money. Is what and is the devil is good. He's a strategist. Even God, God has been handling him, I can destroy him, but every day he will do like this, like that. So so you and I, what are we? How about you are coming floor? Faith. GDA is a substance idea. by which we move into the dimension yeah, so of the unseen realm into the spirit realm. 
So when I pray with my natural mind, my natural mind gets to a place. It gets tired. Then I change dimension. I And another Why should I speak in tongues? Why should Jesus be born of a virgin birth? Why was he not born by a father and mother? Christianity is strange. Christosum. When we lose our strangeness, the devil will defeat us. Today I am poor. But by tomorrow, I will control riches. How can it be possible? With men, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. For I walk with a God who command the things that be not as if they are. I trust this God. I believe this God. I declare that I move into his dimension. When my mind is tired, I go into the spirit and I start praying the spirit. I am not going to Ali parando sila Irena mano sakata Ila parari eno salaha Irena makadu vali andosa Give the Lord a clap of hands Clap your hands Sadaba kola pandeva Irena mano saleha Sika Sina sika Labron deva halabari Faith Zidye is a substance Eya tia By which we move into the dimensions of God Yenam sueti mimkura ofa the unseen realm. As we are seated here, we are not the only ones here. We are angels here. We are spirits here. Who are following us? So until you think that dimension, you think we are alone. We are not the only ones here. We walk by, by sight. That is natural. That is a natural dimension. We walk by faith. That is a spiritual dimension. And you need to train yourself. One of the challenging court of heaven I had. How Bakupa? If you bring your chair, put it here. So the lady sat down. Ababa wanted to ask. Should I act it? If I act it without the people, okay. The lady sat down. Ababa and then I sat in front. And I'm meeting If you come and sit down, say so you. And said, so we, we have come to judge. I didn't even go to invite them from home. They came by themselves. So, so we went to the judge. And then the lady went into trance. Acts 10, Acts 10, 9, 10. Acts 22, 16, and 17. These days, they want me to quote, so I'll quote. So, Acts. Peter went into trance. Paul went into trance. So, when the lady went into trance, then I asked, who are you? It said, and the husband was standing behind. And then the spirit that had, the, the spirit that had manifested said, I'm the legal wife. No, legal. No, legal. So the man was standing, so I asked him. A spirit has manifested. He said, I'm the, is the legal wife. So I asked him, ah, the woman sitting there, who is gone into trance, is she your legal wife? Yeah, that's my legal wife. I said, are you sure? I said, we're operating from another dimension. We are not doing mental here. You see your legal wife. I don't have anybody. Yes, I'm the legal wife. 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 I'm the legal w
So I come back and said, and I'm by, I say, do you hear what we are saying? What did you hear, Kano? That you are not the legal wife. So the spirit. So the spirit said, mention the name of the gentleman. But A name, I don't know. Now, I know me name. The pastor who was there didn't know. Oh, so far, so I know, so they mentioned the original name. Is it not just the night we spoke? Now, so I came. I said, gentlemen. And I said, we are in a different dimension. Do you have a child with somebody? I I said, so why didn't you tell me? And I'm sad the one can't tell me. I said, how old is the gentleman? Now, then he mentioned. When was the last time you spoke to the uh, what's her name? But my mean in Dean said you're only in Dean said. Then he mentioned the name. In fact, before she could mention the spirit that the admin first said, I'm this. Ask him. So when we did, then no, when we, I asked, I said, I now remember. I said, he and the wife. Every night, I sleep beside him. And I am the legal wife. Yeah. So I said, I, I said, gentlemen, I'm not we are not here to joke. Now then he started talking. When the spirit that had manifested, he doesn't have money. He doesn't have this. Every time he comes to Ghana. I'm with him. No, I'm with him. So I'm there. I'm with him. They are going. Mm. So, the way I saw the thing going, whether the F should open that I can enter or whatever. <laughs> so, I just went, Judge, let your daughter come out of trance. So, the wife came out of trance. So, I said, So, I said, should I tell her? Because she's born into trance. She didn't know what was happening. Then you oh, tell, tell, tell oh, her. So I said, there is a woman. There's a spirit that manifested. Say, she's the legal wife. Then she said, no, no, no. 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 Every day when we are sleeping, somebody comes to sleep with you. And you start screaming. And so you see a crocodile come to sleep you see with you. Another day, another animal. Then you wake up and you say, oh, where is that animal? Then you say, oh, where is that animal? Then you say, oh, where is that animal? So when we go to sleep, we go to the, our room. You don't sleep. And you say, oh, where is that animal? So speak the truth. Praise the Lord. So I said, gentlemen, is it true? He said, I'm sorry. He Everybody say dimensions. Bianca, a fan hood wall. By the evening, when he came to church, and you may know about him, I saw him hold the wife when we are in prison. I saw the hidden mood and ding ding. <laughs> because until we went to that dimension, so as you are seated there, first Corinthians, second Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 16. So as you are seated there. Like when we go to the hospital, it said he acquired a to the doctor after checking you physically. I feel what show when you say, Go and do MRI. I say, Connie and Chown for me. So when the MRI comes, you see things he didn't see. I feel what be no new mark and then when Nick went. So you and I, it's me no me. I know you. Minimum second Corinthians chapter five. 
Corinthians 4, verse 16. If I'm right. 16 or 18, one of them. So, what does it say? Henceforth, no we no man after the flesh. So, when I see you, I'm scanning you. Me to see. Who are you? Who are you? And that dimension is called faith. And no, I prayed with a young lady. Many a Baba will be bumpy. After I've preached. Is anybody that wants to marry? So she came. And as soon as, before I could say every spirit, then the spirit that man insulted me, insulted me. Before everybody. I said, relax. I'll meet you. So we went. I called that one uh, OPD. Then we'll go inside. So we go inside. So when we met there, he said, when we on, 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 then the spirit manifested. They were high. They would do what they manifested. I said, I'm, I said, who are you? He said, I'm the mother. And I've put my daughter on an altar. So I have sold her marriage for promotion in the spirit. This is why you don't want to hear preach. Old women feel uneasy when dry bones are mentioned in a proverb. Yes, <laughs> or you want to mention it? Identity. Identity. So anytime I'm talking about this and you feel uneasy, it tells me that. You yourself. If I kick this gentleman, he will say, Ajay. But if there's a sword there, he will say, More Ajay. So as I'm talking about spirits, and there's no spirit behind me, you are okay. But as I keep talking about spirits, you start fighting me. It means that there's a spirit there. So it is not you that is reacting against me. You know what I mean? So when we prayed, I said, You are wicked. I said, So as the spirit, you go to church. Which church? I said, he said, I'll come to your place. I said, you are lying. There was one of my pastors. He said, ask him. My daughter sends him, have him with gifts to come to me. So I asked the pastor. Do they send you? He said, yes. No, nobody after the flesh. Me ni mo obia me unu obia wo hona mo biom. Ah, even life, eh? Natural life. You can be talking, and somebody goes to gossip about you. Afo bono obia kwa kodo unu sekuru. How much more in the spirit? Empo hun hun munswe. And most you can't see him in the spirit. Particularly, when we are paying tight, say, I can not pay your tight. Now, for a beer, I didn't hear you to do so. Do you see the spirit? Yeah, 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 
This is what you don't like, eh? I know your own <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, Let's go to my notes and finish. <laughs> As for my time, I've overstepped the time. A qu- a Blessed is he that is the presiding bishop. That when he overgoes time, nobody can stand in front of him and tell him what he wants. Because if you come, I will jam you. So when you go to your meeting, you don't discuss. Things. Your mind is thinking. Why do you know is it true? Is it correct? Is it this? Is it that? Yes, I'm your shepherd. Me, I am talking to you. So follow me. So sing it like you believe me. So 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 It's a system. It's a tactic. It's a strategy. It's the approach by which we move into the dimension of the unseen world. In the natural, we walk by sight. In the spirit, we walk by faith. The next slide. Let's go. Let's go. That is why Paul said, we don't walk by the natural. No money. At my age, no marriage. No marriage. From where I stand, it won't work. But we walk by faith. When I go to America, I tell them something. America, that there is what is called American dream. So, because when you look at it naturally, many of them don't have anything. I said, Do you believe in American dream? 
He said, yes. I said, but you have not been sleeping. And I'm saying, yes, I won't. That's why you have not been dreaming. Because to get the American dream. He said, I'm saying, America, I soon. He said, dream. For you to believe in heaven, it means you have to go to another dimension. So if you don't go there, it won't work for you. Faith is calling the things that be not as though they are. Everything shows that it won't work. But you are calling the thing. Nenso o friend ni o manua. That be not. Ah, any hono. As though they say they are. Nia e woho se I don't speak what I see. Me inka nia mi hunu nu se se. I speak what I want. Me inka nia me shi sheni a me pe. God created heaven and have uh, earth and heaven, heaven and earth. Nyanko pon ba osuro ni asasi. And there was full of darkness. Neti ene sumu ya asasi so kebi. God didn't say. Me nyanko pon kan say darkness. Sum. Darkness. What did he say? Let there be light. So today, we are going to behave like the God who created us. So what I see, I don't like it. So I change my language to say what I want. And what I want, I will speak it. Doctors have told me, medically, they are right in their dimension. But I choose to go higher to another dimension. Therefore, I declare that a thousand shall fall by my side. Ten thousand on my right, but it will never come near my side. Therefore, I declare that though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I do not say I'm not walking through the valley. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But I will fear no evil. Thou art with me. In the name of Jesus. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say. I would say. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. In the name of Jesus. I declare. That they will come against me in one way. But they shall flee in seven ways. Let God be true. True. And every man a liar. Let God be true. And every man a liar. For we walk by the things we do not see. We walk by faith. This morning, change your dimension. Learn it. When you have heard a bad news, tell your children, sleep. Then you go to your room. Lock the door. Hit your knee. But I walk in the spirit world. This morning, change your dimension. Stop saying what everybody is saying. Say what you believe your God has said. In the name of Jesus. It is impossible for God to lie. As he said it. What can be be? And will he not do it? He who watches over his word. To perform. My servant is sick. Oh, I will come and heal him. He said, don't come. Just speak the word. Speak the word. This morning. We come to the dimension of God. And we are declaring that we move into the spirit. World. We are meeting the witches where they are. We are meeting the wizards where they are. And in the name of Jesus, I change gear. Ilepayo, 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 
There's a young lady here. I don't know her. Minimum. When we started court of heaven, she came to church on uh, what? On she Sunday. Did. They told her they would do miracle service. She she service. And when I prayed with her, she came. The spirit that manifested. Oh, we have finished the fight. This young lady we will break her marriage. She can't have children. We went to the judge. And last week I met her. Now, now what you They said she can't be pregnant. But after the judge, she pregnant. is pregnant. Last Tuesday. I was praying with a young man. And then I didn't know she is the spirit that manifested sir. Minimum He said, look at my leg. I put it down like this. There is nothing you can do. I told the spirit, I said, This is our patience. OPD. We'll go inside. So we went inside. Then the spirit, we went to the jar. And the spirit manifested. And the spirit said, eh, We won't make a pass. She's breathing for exams. We are failed. I said, Judge, change it for us. Then we pray. The spirit said, I'll go. I said, She wrote. You made a thing. Oh man, you she passed or not. Because first you said she passed, but you changed it. So we too. Before the judge. As she's going to write. She will pass. And the spirit said, Then we prayed. And the spirit said, Oh, we won't make a pass. Oh man, you changed I have to go to another dimension. For we walk by faith. Not by sight. For we walk by faith. Because there's So in the name of Jesus, I declare. Whoever is fighting, whoever comes to you, they will manifest. Let's go. There was a woman in America. Now, two years, she didn't have a document. If she had a spirit manifest, oh, be done when it's in charge. And was here, no, 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 no. So I went to the judge. It's me called Temua for no, it's a judge. It's your Temua for let this spirit of our Masao Minko, no, 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 speak for my daughter. Kasama me baba. So, ain't he? I ask her, right. Again, she got a lawyer oh, pay in the name. middle of the way. The lawyer said, oh, The case is too difficult, and, and I can't understand. understand. I said, Relax, you operated the spirit already. So, you were here. Once I was there within three days, the lawyer called. And said, and was immigration called him. Or say immigration and said, we can't understand. After 20 
another two years. Why she can't get a daughter? Sign the papers again. If the judge of all has spoken, who is man? Today and we are going to the judge. Lift up your two hands. Take us to some few moments. In the spirit, who you have been going to people's dreams? Blocking them from marrying. Blocking them from having children. Attacking them financially. And harassing people. I'm just counting seven. And you will manifest right now. So one. You spirits. We have moved to your realm. So manifest now. One. Two. Three. Three, me and son, whoever you are, well, we'll be wherever you are, we'll be we'll be manifest right now. Down what is this here? If you followed anybody to church, you'll be found out right now. Yeah, but you are this is here. Find somebody shaking, screaming, lying down, bring them to me. What is so beat him? Will be what so beat him? Funny, but anyone is here. So four. Why should you go to the person's dream? Why should the person fail the exam? Why should you be breaking the person's heart? Why should you put sickness on the person? Why are you disgracing the person? So whoever you are, as I come for, report, manifest right now. Report, 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 manifest right now. report, 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 Elum, five. Elum. You have been blinding the person. Well, friendly, you have been confusing the that person. As I say, five. Report yourself. Report yourself. In the name of Jesus. You have put sickness on the person. He has gone to hospital. Nothing is working. As I count six. Manifest yourself. Right now, bring them to me. Bring them to me. Manifest yourself. Now, Cecilia, 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 Saka pakata retene menosa ile barudi veleha istuni makatum velia ranu makunde brakata irala tapala kate istene makala brandi vaha ila paya kata ira papa ila kande brandi skala ha asini malakapa ile rakoli barata asini maloka brandi vaha resele bakata rakata ira papa iri kande vele esana makola ba asini malakapa sapakapa palori Sapakate, ire kande brande vaha, isa la vaha, ire ne makunde brande kata, asuni malaba, ila pa, ira kata, salapa ya kate, ele brande vaha, asuni makata, sepa la bari ne manu velianda, asini marie konde brande kata, sepa kata brande vaha, iro konde, shamenkom, sapakata. Palorian Develuskiha. We are going to number six before we go to seven. Yakono in Sian San Yakonso. Lift up your two hands. 
Sataha. Number six. We have been sick. Also, why are they gone to hospital? Nothing is working. Nothing is working. working. So every spirit and every spirit of infirmity that you have been harassing, that you have been doing that. High blood pressure, diabetes, rheumatism, asthma, and any kind of disease, cancer, you spirit of infirmity, lift up your two hands, lift them, lift them, right now, asthma, leave, asthma, leave, brain tiredness, leave, oppression, Yeah, 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 yeah. Oppression. 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 You have to manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Manifest. 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 brother. Father, heal your people. I read my money. For the last time, lift up your two hands. You have not been happy for some time. You are confused. Lift up your two hands. You are confused. 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 You Up your two hands. I'm angry. For what they have done to God's children. I'm angry. Therefore, every spirit oppressing anybody. And you are not allowing the person to enjoy Holy Spirit. And you're going to the person's dream rough rough. Change the person when you like. You are a human being. We are nipah, but you have raised an altar. And so, my pedia for the people. Change God's people. Eh, tell tell you, uncle Pom. Brian, why are you? Please come and take the uh, this thing for me, so that we can attend to them later. Why are you? Why are you? So for Brian, who are you? Why are you think church is going to be normal? No, no, no. I'm sorry, yes, sir. The other be a woman. No, no. Saturday. Clement, do you have uh, do you have it? Get there. Lift up your two hands. Tap your neighbor. And Pass tell your neighbor, it's a dimensional change. Tell your neighbor. And tell your neighbor. Leave your fear somewhere. Tell your neighbor. Lift up your two hands. And so in the name of Jesus. Any human being. Who has raised an altar and operating witchcraft and operating secret society to steal from God's children? This morning, the Holy Spirit will let you manifest. Anybody that you are worried in your mind, financial problems, oppression, right now. As God's people have lifted their hands as a sign of surrender in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, blow like a wind amongst us. Blow. As I count seven, Holy Spirit, blow. We have yielded ourselves so. So, Holy Spirit, blow amongst us and bring out the chaff. One, two, three, four, and nine, five, and six, and seven, and so. 
Tuni Makatu Veleva. Nereni Menoski Fran Devaha. Lift up your two hands. Pay Samuel. Pay Samuel. Brian, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Get your camera. You can send people, but when I don't see you, I don't feel faith. Because you I work with. So get another camera. And Brian, take them to uh, Surgical. theater. Surgical room. Note them and then prosper. Lift up your two hands. The Lord bless you. I know so in Jesus. And now your father can to English. Building, big building technology. No. Construction engineering. So help them. Gather them. Gather them. Gather them. Put them somewhere. For Lift up your two hands. God gave us a prophetic word. He said you give us victory city. It doesn't happen by, by accident. We have to walk into it. He has told us already you give us revival. And you are afraid of this. Now you need to go and wear helmets. Metallic helmet because the one that we are about to receive it's greater. So lift up your two hands. The Lord bless you. For coming to his house. You will go better than you came. Your dreams will change. Your language will change. Your attitude will change. The Lord set you free. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a clap of free. Thank you for listening. If you need to speak with any of our pastors for counseling, please call any of our pastoral helplines on 0263-177-957 or 0277-432-073. You can also contact our pastoral team on these helplines 0244-170-657. 0244-672-036 or 0277-453-223 and 0263-137-957. May God richly bless you. Please join our online service on Sundays at 8 a.m. and Thursdays at 6 p.m. We encourage you to give as the Spirit leads. You can give using any of the following platforms. Koba, star 365 star 22 hash or MTN Mobile Money on 0595-849-567. You could also give via our international platform at give.vbcievents.com. Please visit our event page at www.vbcievent.com or download the VBCI app on Play Store or App Store. God richly bless you. VBCI, raising the foundations of many generations.